Hello, this is the third video created by AISC specifically for professional cleaning companies to explain the safe use of mixture information documents, SUMIs, and supply chain communication. In this video, we're going to discuss how to practically use an AISC SUMI. So we've arrived at the step where the formulator sends the SUMI to the cleaning company and now the employer or the person who is tasked with this in the cleaning company has to use the information in the SUMIs to create workplace instructions. What we're going to do is we're going to go through a very simple example of the steps that you would follow for this to, for this to take place. So in this example, the employer or the person who is tasked with writing workplace instructions in the company wants to do these for a worker who is using undiluted product to remove limestone in an indoor situation. Firstly, they will assess which uses the manufacturers of the cleaning product has foreseen by going to section 1.2 of the safety data sheet, and they will determine which of these will be applied by the worker. In this case, they would go to section 1.2 and they would find application brushing by hand with undiluted product, the AIC SWED PW192. This would bring you to the SUMI that is going to be applicable for that application. So as a step two, for each application relevant for the worker, the related SUMI documents need to be collected. This brings us to the SUMI PW192G, that is for brushing by hand with undiluted product. And in this example, we are going to pretend that the concentrated product is CLP classified for skin and eyes. And so goggles, the use of goggles will be required. And that means that the formulator will have selected a SUMI where goggles are stated as being required. For more information on how this, the formulator selects the SUMI and the process that formulators go to, you can refer back to the second video of this um, set of training videos that we have created. As a next step, the employer or person who is tasked with, with this work will check which operational conditions and risk management measures are relevant for safe use of the product. In this case, um, based on the SUMI, that will be 480 minutes using it indoor with no LUV and gloves and goggles will need to be applied. They would ensure that the operational conditions are applicable for the location where the product will be used. So for example, in an office, in an office building, and they would confirm that indeed in the, in the situation, the 480 minutes indoor use, no LEV, gloves and goggles are all appropriate conditions for that situation. They would then ensure that that correct personal protective equipment is given to the worker by also referring to section eight of the safety data sheet for specifications. So for example, the material of the PPE. And this information would be included in the workplace instructions. Finally, the information from the SUMIs will also need to be incorporated with the other, other information that is relevant to the worker, such as information on transport and storage in section 7 and 14 of the SDS, or information regarding first aid accidents in sections 4, 5, and 6 of the SDS, other information due to the workplace uh, conditions, or related to any other OSH requirements that are relevant for the worker. Finally, we uh, urge you to consider the importance of country-specific OSH requirements in ensuring safe work conditions for your employees, as different countries will have their own specificities. 
An example is the work that has been done in the Netherlands. In the Netherlands, an online tool has been developed called Wick Maker, where the AIC sweat code can directly be entered into this tool. And um, this facilitates and results in a worker instruction card. Finally, I would raise that there are situations where the AIC SUVs cannot be used. And in those cases, you will probably receive more company-specific tailored solutions um, that would be available. Such cases would be, for example, if there are carcinogenic products present, as those kinds of products might require more detailed explanation on safe use. Some niche products with specific application types are also more likely to have company-specific solutions. In a situation where SUMI is not applicable, you should receive a different format of instructions for how to safely use products. In the last and fourth video, we have some examples of how companies could share safe use information in in a different format, um, so we have some company-specific examples.